As they were listening to this, he went on to tell a parable, because he was near Jerusalem, and because they supposed that a kingdom of God was to appear immediately. So he said, A nobleman went to a distant country to get royal power for himself and then return. He summoned ten of his slaves and gave them ten pounds and said to them, Do business with these until I come back. But the citizens of his country hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to rule over us. When he returned, having received royal power, he ordered these slaves, to whom he had given the money, to be summoned so that he might find out what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Lord, your pound has made ten more pounds. He said to him, Well done, good slave. Because you have been trustworthy in a very small thing, take charge of ten cities. Then the second came, saying, Lord, your pound has made five pounds. He said to him, And you rule over five cities. Then the other came, saying, Lord, here is your pound. I wrapped it up in a piece of cloth. For I was afraid of you, because you are a harsh man. You take what you did not deposit, and reap what you did not sow. He said to him, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked slave. You knew, did you, that I was a harsh man, taking what I did not deposit, and reaping what I did not sow? Why then did you not put my money into the bank? Then when I returned, I could have collected it with interest. He said to the bystanders, Take the pound from him and give it to the one who has ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten pounds. I tell you, to all those who have, more will be given. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine, who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and slaughter them in my presence. After he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One priest said in his homily, our birth is not our choice. It is by the grace of God that we are born. Nobody ever predicted that you'll be born, not even your parents. St. Augustine said, When you were born, God did not consult you. And he adds, If you want to go to heaven, God needs your consent. So as for our entry into heaven, which we may call as our second birth, God gives us a choice. Though He wants us all to go to heaven, He cannot force us. Now it becomes a matter of choice, whether we choose heaven or not. Thus, if we choose to go to heaven, we have to work for it. As the old Filipino cliché goes, Bawal ang tamad. And that's what the Holy Gospel of today teaches us. In the parable, the rich man despises the lazy servant who just hid his money instead of working or at least investing it. You see, God gave us everything, physical strength, intellect, and capacity to work. So if we don't use any of this, it'll be an insult to God who gave all of this to us. And as the old saying goes, whatever is not used will degenerate. Let's make an analogy. See if you are inactive and you don't exercise. Isn't it that your muscles weaken? Well, it has to be worked on to maintain or even increase in strength. 
Even in St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, he said that if you don't work, you don't eat. We have to work for the food on our table. Yes, God won't let us down, but God also would like us to ask Him in prayer and work for our needs as well. It is said that God helps those who help themselves. And how do you work for a place in heaven? Well, you should do at least the bare minimum. And what is that? Obey the commandments of God. So that's the reflection for today. So now please join me in prayer. Lord, may we never squander the gifts you have given us. Please help us to always work diligently for the upbuilding of your divine kingdom. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day, a Wednesday, the 16th of November. Please share and like this video. And again, take care. And God bless.